Steve, what's the focus here for San Antonio? Their major concern tonight, Marv, is trying to slow down Kobe Bryant. And I think they're going to have to consider double teaming him on the perimeter, even if it means giving up open shots to his teammates. Here's Duncan. And Robert Ory is able to hit on the layup. You got to finish off the play defensively, Marv. You force the miss, but you've got to secure the rebound. Odom able to extend. Lamar Odom. That's a forced shot. Rebound by Brown. Here's the shot by Odom. Ginobili able to succeed with that box out. It counts and the foul. Ginobili at the line for the first time looking to complete a three-point play. Barb, I think one of the things that makes Manu Ginobili so difficult to handle is well, obviously he's got the athleticism and the speed, but the fact that he's left-handed tends to throw his opponents off balance a little bit. Parker met by Ginobili. For three, and Kobe Bryant, Kobe so Bryant. proficient on that catch-and-shoot, got it off. Parker with the shot. The Spurs able to maintain possession and puts it down. Terrific effort there on the offensive glass, Mark. That's pure hustle. Parker looking to make his move. The jumper by Parker. Two minutes gone by in the first. Spurs up by one. Parker on the hunt. Off the mark. Parker on a catch and shoot. Marv, as the game goes along, if they continue to hit the offensive glass, they'll make some of those second chance opportunities. You know, you want to entertain Marv, but more than anything, you've got to be offensively efficient. That was unnecessary. And Lamar Odom called for the foul. That's his first. Ginobili at the line. Jumper, the jumper by Bryant. Bryant. Here's Parker, and Tony Parker converts. Parker takes to the rim, and Lamar Odom able Lamar to flip it home. You love the hustle, Marv. The offensive board leads to the putback, and that's pure energy the right there. Quarter. And Bruce Bowen was looking for a foul call. Very difficult attempt there, Marv, but he gets the ball to go in. 
Parker to the rim and gets the friendly roll. Bowen had to work hard for that shot. And kicks it out. Bryant penetrating. Marv, he hit a terrific shot there, but you see the defense contesting that attempt. If they continue to do that all night, they'll be fine defensively. To Radmanovic. Here's the double. Now the offensive foul will give it back to the Spurs. Nice pass inside. Parker to the pull-up. The jumper by Parker. NBA players are too good shooters, Marv, to leave wide open like that. They're going to make that shot nine times out of ten. Parker takes all the way. And the ball back to the spur. Accelerates. Ginobili to the bucket. Two-second differential between the game clock and the shot clock. He'll have to force. Or he's able to hustle it down. What great defense, Mark. Challenging the shot and forcing a very difficult attempt. Final seconds, and this will do it for the quarter as he ends it. Well, as the first quarter draws to a close, the Spurs lead by nine. All right, we're ready. They're setting it up. Parker got it down low. Oh, what a shot by Jehovah. The fans love it, Marv. This team is rolling now. Radmanovic gets it down low. Here's the shot by Odin. It's one of the toughest things to do in the game, Marv. Shot clock winding down, defense bearing down on you. A difficult attempt there. Radmanovic able to succeed with that box out. Well, he's an excellent shooter, but he can get that shot anytime he wants, Marv. Got to show some patience. Odin to the line. He's 69% at the foul line. Hits both. Boy, he took the hit. Excellent play. And there's no question that was a charging foul. Yeah, I agree, Marv. He moved his body, got excellent position, took the contact. That's a nice play defensively. Parker gets it to Radmanovic. And Radmanovic with a nice play. Brown with the block. That was a three-point attempt. Sometimes, Marv, this game is simply about putting the ball in the basket. This time they do everything right, but they come away with nothing. Nothing. 
Nice play. Ginobili trying to stay in front of him. And rebounded by Duncan. Maybe an ill-advised shot, Mark, but probably a result of terrific defense. Phil Jackson either needs a timeout or he's got to get his team into good position offensively. They need a score. And Smush Parker to the free throw line. Parker at the line. He's 69% at the foul line. Makes them both. Parker walking it up. Good job by Parker. Parker sets it up. Nice ball movement. Not able to hit the three. Parker giving no room. Nice entry pass. And Rachmanovich not able to hit. Ginobili looking for the open man. And Tony Parker not able to hit. Ginobili looking for the open man. Handled by Brown. Well, that's what you want, Marv. The energy, the ability to go get the ball off the glass to give you another chance. But they just can't Cody get that Williams. shot to fall. Well, you have to love the transition, Marv. They get the ball, get out, run the open lanes, and Two find the open man. The Easy, board. too, there. Odom defending on Bowen. Accelerates, and he puts it down. Beautiful clear out, and he takes it right to the rim for the slam. Nice pass inside. Ori on the block. That's his first rejection. Odin to the line. And hits both. Oberto has checked in for the first time for San Antonio. Parker being played tightly. Good job by Rodmanovic. Nice entry pass. And the field goal. That's great defense, Mar, but that's too good. Nice touch around the hoop. Here's Odom. Lamar Odom. Here's the shot by Parker. Bowen with a layup opportunity. So if they want to get the lead back in this game, Marv, they're going to have to secure the boards and find a way to keep this team from getting easy baskets. Jumper off the mark. And the pass is picked off. What a pass. And Rodmanovic able to put it down. Nice job in transition there, Marv. Finding the open man for the easy hoop. And maybe that'll get them started here early in this game. Parker at the line. He's a 70% free throw shooter. Steve, you think back to the first three years that Tony Parker was, was in the NBA. And you would not consider him uh, efficient from the outside. Suddenly, this is a guy who has the touch from the perimeter. How did that happen? Well, I think a lot of it is shot selection. Well, early in his career, he took a lot of threes that probably were a little bit out of his range, but he's improved his choices in terms of shooting the ball, especially this past year. So he, he figured out he doesn't have to shoot from 25 feet. He can move in because of his speed and get to about 15, 16 feet and make those all day long. Final 
zero seconds, and he'll fire it up from beyond half court. That's the end of quarter number two. The Spurs lead by six. The Spurs with a solid first half, Steve, and they have done it for the most part down low. Yeah, their interior game was particularly impressive, Marvin. I think that bodes well for the second half because they're going to draw some defensive attention down there. That should open up some perimeter shots. Well, look at the body control, Marv. The strength, the ability to complete the play even when he's drawing contact. Parker got rushed and lost it. And gets the friendly roll. Smush Parker. Great defense there, and that's the type of play, Marv, that really determines who wins a game like this. Nice pass inside. The jumper by Genova. What a shot. That was great defense. He just made a spectacular shot. Parker guarded by Parker. Follow Genova with a terrific finish. Well, here we are in the second half. Close game, Mark. So anything that they can get at the basket is big. Pretty easy bucket there. Offensively, that's what they wanted to do, Marv. They got a shot in the lane, but they've got to convert. And Kobe Bryant with the foul. That is his second. Ginobili to the line. And Manu Ginobili with 19 points. Parker being guarded. Rebound by Genova. Your main concern when you get to the basket, Marv, is to complete the play, not showboat. Here come the Lakers. Here's Bryant. Bryant at the line for the first time. Steve, last season, a magnificent year for Kobe Bryant. Average better than 35 a game. Led the NBA in scoring and sparked his team to the playoffs. Not many people thought the Lakers would make the playoffs, and uh, they gave the Phoenix Suns a, a really tough series. Boy, did they. They were up 3-1, and, and the Suns eventually came back to win the series. But I'll never forget that game four performance by Kobe Bryant, Marv. The, the buzzer-beating, uh, high-arcing shot over Boris Diaw at the end of regulation, and then uh, again beating the clock at the very end of overtime to, to win the game for Los Angeles. What a game for Kobe. a three-second violation. Steve, what do you think? A good call. I know you're constantly checking out those three-second violations. I thought it was a little quick, Marv. It looked like he was only in there for maybe 2.9, and all of a sudden, you know, the ref calls it, and we're going the other way. It's a, a rare call. You don't see that often. And I know the internal clock in your head is always operating. Ticking. Ticking. Marv. Constant. Switch. Parker takes all the way, and the bucket. Two and a half minutes remaining in the quarter. Spurs up by six. And Smush Parker, Smush thought he was Parker. fouled, was looking for a call. But very difficult shot there, Marv. Somehow managed to get it in. Brown on the rebound. Marv, they did a terrific job getting the ball in the paint. Just didn't make the basket. Oh, and being played by Radmanovic. Two minutes to go in the third quarter. Accelerates. 
Bryant gets him to commit. Boy, that's a nice touch. Hand in his face, he still gets it to go. Parker able to extend, and Tim Duncan called for the foul. That's his first. Parker at the line. Tony Parker could not finish. Radmanovic finding room. And Bruce Bowen called for the foul. That's his first. Radmanovic at the line. First time tonight. And he makes them both. Parker trying to stay in front of him. And Manu Ginobili off the mark. And they clear it out. Parker being played aggressively. And Tony Parker called for his second. Parker to the line. He is four of five at the line. And hits both. They clear it out. Parker takes all the way. And Manu Ginobili comes up short. Well, they were very fortunate there, Marv, giving up a wide open shot. They're going to have to play better defense if they expect to win this game. Nice entry pass. And Lamar Odom not able to hit. And gets the friendly roll. Tony Marv, if they can get a quick score here and make a stop, they'll have another opportunity for a bucket at the end of the quarter. Well, in a close game, Marv, you can't give up anything easy in this team playing tough defense inside. It counts. And the foul. Parker back at the line looking to complete a three-point play. Oberto able to succeed with that box out. And Manu Ginobili had his pass broken up. Beautiful switch. Manu Ginobili able to put it down, serving up a facial. And the ball back to the score. Jeez. This looked like he lost the handle. Yeah, normally a very sure-handed ball handler, but uh, made a, a careless mistake there. Brown rebounds. And he flings it. And here we have the end of the third quarter. The Spurs trail by one. All right, the set to resume. Again, terrific help defense there, Marv, on the interior. Parker gets it back to him and scores. You know, he's 11 for 18 from the field.
Bryant takes all the way. Kobe Bryant. And it's rejected. Ori hosting the jumper by Ori. This is all coaches can ask for, Mark. Contest every shot. Parker finds the opening. And Smush Parker not over to him. Here's Ginobili, and rebounded by Parker. Mark, sometimes great shooters believe they can make every shot, but this stage of the game, you've got to make the defense work. Parker looking for the open man, and he finishes with some flair. That's a 10 to 2 run for the Spurs. Marv, I love the way this team has continued to fight all night long, and they've battled their way right back into this ballgame. Parker able to break it down. The jumper by Parker. The Lakers clear it out. Bryant to the rim. Good recovery by Brown. And Kwame Brown got the roll. Mark, creating extra possessions oftentimes means the difference between winning and losing in the NBA. That's an enormous putback. Phil Jackson needs to call a timeout here. This game is sliding away from this club. They've got to regain their composure. Here's the double. Radmanovic met by Bowen. And Radmanovic not able to score. Rejected. To Bowen. And a foul on the Lakers. He fires from downtown. Odom ends up with it. Tony Parker got the roll. Terrific offensive execution there, Mark. Parker, off-balance shot. Here's the shot by Brown. That's a full shot. Open shot to Ramonovic. Here's Odin. To Ginobili. Nice ball movement. And they clear it out. Shot clock down to five. Ginobili with an open shot. Handled by Brown. Timeout. And Phil Jackson, apparently not liking what he's seeing, takes a timeout. Mark, you've got to get a quick score here and then either steal the inbounds pass or try to foul their worst free throw shooter. Parker accelerating. Here's the shot by Parker. And Smush Parker called for the intentional foul. Oh, he committed an intentional foul. They're just looking to stop the clock. He'll go to the line. Parker at the line. And Tony Parker with 20 points. And Phil Jackson wants to talk. Well, at this point, Mark, you've got to put your best shooters on the floor. Facing this kind of deficit, you probably need threes. So look for this club to draw something up to get a perimeter look. And then at that point, force a turnover. If you can't do that, you've got to foul. And hope that the other team misses because this is really desperation time. Parker to the line. He's six for eight tonight.
Smush Smush Parker with 22 points. Oh, he fouled him intentionally, and that'll mean free throws. Ginobili at the line. He is three for five. Gets it inside. Bryant to the line. And Kobe Bryant with 15 points. That's a foul to stop the clock, and he'll go to the line. Ginobili at the line. He's 5 for 7 tonight. It's a simple game, Mark. If you can't put the ball in the basket, there's no way you can win. Ginobili guarded by Bryant. Now here's the double. And looking for the three. And rebounded by Bryant. Parker at the point. Good job by Parker. One second remaining in the quarter. 